Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 6 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, we are stating that if we have one number that is a certain number of fractions of another, and we have a third number that is the same number of fractions of yet a fourth number, if we add the first and third, so b plus d, and if we add a plus c, then b plus d will be the same number of fractions, or the same fraction, of a plus c. Now remember that Euclid makes a distinction between a part, which is a uh, simple fraction, which is one over something else, and parts, which is something like p over q, or two-thirds. So one-third he would call a part, and two-thirds he calls parts. So let's prove this. So we are going to start off with two numbers, AB and DE, and AB is going to be equal to a number of parts of C, and D is going to be equal to the same number of parts of F. So basically we're saying that AB is P over Q of C, and DE is P over Q of F. Now since, all right, let me just demonstrate here. Here we have the parts of C, and here we have the parts of F, and they are the same in the sense that they are, these parts are one-third, and these parts are one-third. And now A and B are the same number of parts. So in this case, there's two of the parts of C, and DE has two of the parts of EF. So since there are the same number of parts of C in A as there are of parts F in D, in other words, we have two parts here and we have two parts here. Now it doesn't have to be two, it can be any number of parts, but in this example it's two. So that's what um, Euclid is trying to focus on, is that the number of parts here is the same as the number of parts in here. So therefore, let's divide A, B, and C, E into the parts that are associated with the larger number. So A, B will be divided by the, uh, num the part of C, and DE will be divided by the part of F. So we now have that AG is equal to the part of C, which is C over Q. DH will be equal to F over Q. And AG is equal to GB, and DH is equal to AG. So this is what we are left with algebraically. Now if we add AG plus DH, well, it's going to be equal to the sum of the parts from C and F. And as we know from the previous proposition, that if a, AG is a part of C and DH is a part of F, if we add them together, they will be the same part of C plus F. So this comes from the proposition just in the previous video. So AG plus G, DH, in other words, this part plus this part, is the same fraction, 1 over Q, of C plus F. Similarly, GB and HE are the, the sum of them are the uh, same fraction of C plus F. Again, proposition 5. So if we add these together, AG plus GB is AB, DH plus HE is DE. So if we add them together, we end up with some multiple, or that the fraction CF plus Q measures AP plus D. And it is because these, for every AG, there will be a DH. And no matter how many times you divide this, 
this will also be divided the same number of times because of our original condition. So therefore we have that if we have two numbers that are parts of another two numbers, so A, B, and D, E are the same parts of C and F respectively, then the sum of A, B plus D, E will be the same part of C plus F, same parts of C plus F.